this time next week, you know, we're looking at Hartbury first team, trophy game for the seconds, trophy game for the thirds. Yeah, we're in the business end of the season now. This could be the difference between winning and losing a game for us, couldn't it? That one scrum, late in the game, shunt them over, pinch a ball off them, whatever it is, could be the difference. Yeah, so we've got to start to build this scrum. So Ashley coming up a week on Saturday. Yeah, we're going to be there to be shoved around, we're there to shove them around. Yeah, we've got to start a lot of this. Really start to build it up. Okay, we have some good stuff there this morning. Good, if we can get that back up on these wheels, guys. transition done. See it's still way off your chest which is fine. Still flat footed. The Bucks was going extremely well. Uh, and we're coming off such a high in the semi-final against Hartbury. We, we were very, very confident going into the final against Durham. Uh, we believe we had all the players uh, in place to do a job, all the structures. Um, to, to be honest, we were quite relaxed. We did everything together on and off the pitch. Uh, we were a very tight-knit group. And uh, to go in with such confidence and think, right, we're going to be the team to do it. We're going to break the, break the hex that's on us, that we haven't won this for so many years. But being here and had the opportunity to, we thought, right, this is it uh, this year. But and to come away with a loss then was absolutely crushing. I remember being last two, three minutes of the game, thinking, we're not going to win this. We can't. There was no way. We're two scores behind. Uh, there was no no hope at that sort of point. And I thought, ah, oh, that's opportunity gone. Another year, and we were the team that could have done it. Well, psycho psychologically, it's quite tough. I mean, we had a big blowout after the final, as you can imagine, to try and just get away from the whole competitive nature of it and just have fun together, be be together as a team, so and kind of console each other in a positive way. It was quite difficult, I know, for me personally, uh, to think, right, we've got to go, we've got to step it up again. And I think we lost our first skate Saturday game after we lost the final, uh, and then the the mood in camp did sink, but. Fortunately, we had some strong characters and we built up and, and we went through and had a storm in end of the season, finished third in our league, which was great, and then it was roll on next year. If you're going to be the best team out there, you've got to look at yourselves, not look at what everyone else is doing. If you can do the best you can and as a team, and you set the standard and let other teams look at you. I think that's what we try and do. We don't really try and worry about what other teams do. We know they're training, we know they're training hard and stuff, but our ethos is that we train harder, we train longer, uh, and, and we, we, we strive to be the best.
So to win bucks is always our goal, and that's pushed on the on the boys that come into pre-season that are new, the freshers, and boys that have been there and know the history, know that we want to win bucks rugby. Because of the harsh environment we create and the commitment that's needed for it, you turn out some very committed, driven individuals. Which, with those qualities, you're going to go on from here and do something, do something great. Oh, <laughs>